Okay, creep ass door. Yeah, let's go. What the fuck is that? It's some alien bullshit. Let's do this. Oh. Cutscene. Woo. Hi. I sure do love cutscenes. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Those are the ones I saw. Oh. Who the fuck are you guys? This is new. Oh god, you're creepy. They're very creepy. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how kind of do. Yeah. Also, they don't have legs. They're just metal. Well, they may, might be... Yeah, they might be entirely. Yeah, they are. Oh, shiny. I have many folds. Oh. Oh, Ooh, it's I'm like right. a mole. It's like a pipe P33. No, his name is Kirch and her name is Pikalan. Is that like Lolly Lulu? Mm -hmm. Actually, let's not talk about that because you haven't played, oh, played those games. Hmm. He is doing uh, P33 moves. Yeah. Okay, here come up. Oh. Boy, girl. I thought that they sounded like one might be a girl. Recycled. He only has one leg now. Wait, is that boy? Hmm? No, he doesn't. Entertain us, twins. Oh <laughs> boy. Is it Greek and Dora? Uh, the, no, no but they might be related to some something Drake and Gardish. Yeah. Uh, but I'm starting to think I might recognize the boy's voice. I'm not sure it is who I think it is, but it might be. Who do you think it is? Do you remember uh, when we were watching end credits and Kyle McCarley went by with three question oh. marks? Okay. It might be him, I'm not sure. He's pretty good at doing uh, young voices. That watering is different, it's blue. It looks different, yes. I don't know how... This is similar to the story in the book. Uh, oh. See? It's intimidating. Intimida Thing tree. Wait. What the fuck? What, what are these PS1 trees? They're like flat textures. Yeah. Yes, go with it. Uh, trust me, I, I know it myself that sometimes you don't have time. Yeah, but. And we are not supposed to look at them that closely. Look at that. Maybe, fix but it, it feels, seems very obvious. It might be on purpose. It could be on purpose because it's a like, manufactured tree. Yeah, exactly. This that might be the kind of thing fucking Yokotaro does. Yeah. Oh, this area is cool. Yeah. That that looks like the motion Devil and Popola does mm -hmm. when they raise their mm -hmm. staffs. With sampling the strength, are they gonna? Yeah. Oh, ho. oh, oh that's Oh, that's so fucking creepy. Yeah. They are... They have to oh, be. that's radical. Yeah. You, did you just say radical? I love the word radical. Radical! <laughs> radical. Oh. That just reminds... It bloody reminds me of um, the third... Near raid because they do it is that it's a big ball of I call it a big mm. ball of bodies. Yes, I, I, I've seen down. that. And just drop down and then attack you, and I'm creeped out and screaming. Yeah, it's perfect. Either I do the DPS and try to use like yeah, take it away from me, take it away from me, <laughs> poke him with a stick, or healing and running away. I need to hear what they're saying. The comprehension is unnecessary. 
All you care for is killing. Oh, that, that's a box. And a glarp. Good. Oh, goody. Okay. Actually, with a... Oh, they look like trees. Yeah, they're it, intimidating, these, these trees. The, the, the pipes is, is like a mechanical freak-ass forest. Mm -hmm. How much metal do they have? It seems like we're not actually... Like, the way they speak, it sounds like when we destroy the copies, that metal wow. is reused and made into a new copy. Wow, kind of. Wow. Eat the pieces and the shit in the trash can. Wow. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh. Their health bars are gone. Oh, it's zooming out on itself. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. This is so goddamn anime. I like it a lot. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. I've. I don't know if those models look like they're. Super easy or super hard to do with all the metal. Mm. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, hi! How in the hell do you get a body? He's got two right arms. What? He was holding forward two right arms. I need your shaking arm. Me, <laughs> the best boy's back! Yeah, the he fuck? Got oh god! Four arms! Yeah, radical. <laughs> and then she's like, ah, yeah, I don't know which wait, one. Wait a second, <laughs> one, two, three, ah! <laughs> it's like, which one now can I grab? Well, yeah, we got a meal pack! Better and bigger than ever! More arms, more power. Four times the hand. She hasn't seen him in three years, he's, she's yes. going to die. Yeah, Kind of. <laughs> Good to see he hasn't changed a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're referring. They're referring directly to Emil. Yes. The the joining of number seven and number six. Did you see cup? They they spell it C O U P L A. Couple of little fucks. Couple of little fucks. Yeah, the good music. It's there's a lot of that. Does it? Oh, 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 oh! Let's go. So she remember? She like? She doesn't remember, but she remembers. Y yes. yes. Something is wrong. She knows that someone used to be with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she knows Bruce. She knows about Bruce, but she doesn't know. She knows something is missing. Exactly. Someone is missing. Yeah. Good to have you back, Emil. Yes. Yeah. You with your extra arms. Hey! Oh! His oh! 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 Getting flashbacks. Oh, also, his feet were arms. Were his feet arms? Yeah, his legs were arms. I, I need to see. He's a monkey. Okay, that, no, those feet are oh. normal. The, the yeah. legs are... Okay, that is creeping me the fuck out of seeing boxes. Box! Ah! I'm just gonna say there there might be some boxes in Automata as well. Oh, oh my, my oh fucking Christ. god! He really looks like he's on the foot. Right. Is this our motor spoilers? What happened to you back then? And where have you been? And why the hell do you have four arms? Good question. I look, it's gonna take way too long to get into all that. Oh my god. There's no time to explain. 
I also have four arms. Can I? Oh! Oh! I didn't actually think I would be able to go there. Did Camille? <laughs> what? What? The fuck? I thought it would be like invisible walls all over. Uh, this feels intended. To be able to go up there. A bitch? Um, oh, oh, we're here! Shadow Lord! But what's it? Yes, it maybe. It's, it's, it looks like the garden with, with the god pigeons. Uh, oh it, god, it does. Yeah, yeah it does. But it, it reminds me, it's not com... com it's it's not all of it, but it reminds of it. It's like... It's like partially completed. Yeah, it's like trying to remember. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I, I feel like I've forgotten something really important. You, you too. Tell me about it. You too. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I can't really describe it, but it's like my mind is filled with this weird fog. I think I made a promise to somebody, like that we would go eat something delicious. <laughs> well then. We'll just have to get those memories back. Yeah! Oh, that, that's not a great look on her feet. Yeah, I know. Stairs are hard, man. Stairs are very hard. Sloped very surfaces hard. are hard. I remember when Mario Sunshine did that shit. Had Mario's feet actually uh, adjust to the slope he was on. Hmm. That was nuts. They, that's 100% the bird fountain. Yeah. Yep. Is that a box? <laughs> it's yeah. what? Oh! Recovery potion. Going into the darkness. Imprisoning me. This is uh, looking like oh, a fucking see. Minecraft shaft. A little bit? Yeah, kind of gonna play Minecraft. Where the fuck are we? Oh! oh. Those oh. look like those. Yeah! Oh. Tokyo buildings. Upside down. Oh, Dragon Guard shit! We're gonna see some Dragon Guard shit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, but that one is right side. Oh, but it's really yeah. far. Oh god. Don't be I'm okay. to... Oh, I want to see Drake and Garden. Oh, shit. oh! Cinematic camera, zoom out. I, I still like have a bit of control. Magical power ahead. Just don't do anything rash. Got it? No, it's her job. What if they just pull out a fucking Kaim and Angelo's boss fight? That would be awesome. They won't. Nobody. Now it looks like yeah, when we were. Going for the shadow lord. Sure but does. I'm still wondering where the fuck are we? Well, we're I guess we're still inside the tree, in a manner of speaking. Yeah. Or is this like is is this even a physical place? Is my I big don't question. Know. Oh This is a sh the Shadow Lord's castle? That's a cute that looks like the cube chests in Shin Megami Tensei 3. But <laughs> that has nothing to do with this. This is a special place. Is it where magic comes from? Oh, I can target it. Can I? I, I, I guess I'm supposed to hit it, but... It somehow feels like that's a really bad idea. It feels like a bad idea because it looks like a, the main power source of something. Of oh, the tree, maybe? But oh. why would the tree not stop us from here? Wow! Okay. It will. Okay. This. World we have lost. Would you two shit sex please <laughs> shut up? Shit sex. I want to hear them kinda. Please don't tell them to shut up. Oh it's like reverse shadow lord huh? music. They yeah. add more instead of taking away. Yeah. Oh fuck. Fuck. Wait! The voice! 
Did we hear Bruce speaking? Yeah, we heard. And she said uh, she heard it from... She remembered the voice from her dreams. Yes. Oh, Bruce bullshit. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's our boy. That's our boy. Oh. And she's confused as heck. There's a lot of boots here. Yeah. Fuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fucking let's, let's bring us bring up the good, 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 good job, Laura Bailey, who voice kinda. Yeah, real good job. Shit purse. Shit purse. That's a good one. Are we gonna see the boy? Our boy? Oh god, look. Everything's oh no, 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 out. these colors. What? Everything is freaking out. <gasps> what were I you? know what this is. And for me, Why are I'm, you here? And for me, I'm just uh, freaking out at the moment because I've kept memories. I can move. Here. Oh god, I hope we won't spoil Armada too much. Because I want us to play that game too. Let's say we try to get uh, ourselves amnesia. Shh. Yeah, creepy. Sweet memories. From the building. Oh, wait, are you. Look at the, look at the turtle health bar! Top, top right! Yeah? That's. That's not the UI that we're used to. No, no but uh, Kain also is a little bit digital at the moment. She sure is. She's a hologram. She knows. It's so, she's I a video game character. <laughs> oh, these explosions are quite stylish. Yeah. They also have different health bars. Triple S rank, stylish. Not that stylish. Perhaps not. Ooh. It actually becomes slightly harder when the bullets are not a color that sticks out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I think we have dived into the rabbit hole a little bit too deep. No, we gotta go deeper. Oh no. Can't stop now. Nobody stops. Nobody stops. For an entity in this world. Crazy popular laugh. <laughs> wow, really pulling out the the like. We were talking about whether or not she was creative with her swearing, but this is sure. Okay, okay. Oh. Spinning around the enemy. The speed of sound. Yeah. Do am I? Uh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I have a choice in the matter. Yeah, you don't have a choice in the matter. Okay, fuck you, Khalil. He, he, his name was Camille. Khalil. Khalil, even. Uh, though in the Japanese version, I believe the name is Cleo. Mm. I don't know if it's still a boy or not. We are incomplete, but our friends make us whole. Isn't it fun how the enemy is doing the whole power of friendship thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that new? No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Maybe. I I have not seen that before, at least. Do the spinning fucking attack. Cannot stand in the way of our lives. Yeah. Stop it, stop it. Oh, she don't want to hear it. And even attack. Did you kill Yeah. <gasps> yeah, Kanye doesn't want to listen anymore. Beyblade time. 
Let's Beyblade. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Are you done talking? I don't want to interrupt you talking. Here we go. Oh, this filter. Oh! Oh, shit. Shit. Oh. It is Hook. Hook has never had any dialogue that we've heard. Hmm. He's even got a digital house from the area. Yeah. Yeah. We're in a pentagon. Shit fucking. Shit fucking. Fuck, fuck. Sound the bitch. Son of a bitch! Oof. Oh, even the circle! Yeah, I saw, I saw. Yeah. Very cool that I am changed it. It is. Uh, uh, this is very cool. And I wonder how many people are actually gonna see it. Because there is no action. Like, there wasn't a prompt saying to go back and play for ending E. You remember that? Yeah, I remember. L like, I I knew about it because I had been kind of... Oh, Jesus! <gasps> oh! oh! What's going on? The people. Okay. They're recreating people. Oh. And we got... Oh! I feel like I'm just making noises. Well, look at these patterns. Oh, oh God. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! God, it, all this static is a little bit freaky for my eyes. Okay, the the, the you're Bye. not supposed to actually kill them all. Sh shut that shit off! Big ol' fucking hell! Why can't I just? Do I have to answer the that? I'll try and edit that out if I remember. <laughs> oh wait, I'm supposed to hit it. Oh shit, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm a big dummy dumb. Big dummy dumb dumb. Well, she's still alive. Oh, that hurt. Oh, oh! Oh god! Wait, maybe that was supposed to happen? Maybe. Oh. Oh no. I can't move faster than this. Can you jump? No. Pressing all the buttons. Get out half breed. I can't even open the heal the item menu. Oh, they're not just any people, they're fucking the hateful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh fuck, I can't I can I don't my turning radius is like enormous. Like, I can't turn around fast. You don't have a health bar anymore. I don't. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is bad. Is Bruce gonna come in and save the day? I, mm. I don't know. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. When Kinda's eyes flutter open, she sees. A dozen villagers quizzically staring back. After a moment she realizes she's collapsed on the ground where sharp stones dig in at her flesh like... Whatever, that's not important right now. She pulls herself to a knee before rising on unsteady feet and sparing a glance at her surroundings. The fuck? She mutters. What happened? Wasn't I just fighting shades? Her mind races as her hand gropes unconsciously for the blade that has been her constant companion for so very long. Though she can't explain it, it's clear that she has somehow been transported to an entirely new world. Oh boy, oh boy, Did it, this never used to happen. Well, not entirely. Uh, we never had pictures with these. Yeah. Not entirely new. She recognizes the hawk-shaped weather vane twisting slowly in the wind above her, 
as well as the small round homes with wisps of smoke drifting into the air. And of course there are villagers currently staring at her with a mixture of fear and disgust. Oh yes, they are a familiar sight indeed. She is in the area. She is home. Is something the matter, girl? Kinda spins around at the voice and sees a woman ravaged by time. Oh, is it Grandma? Is it, Grandma! Um, her narrow hips barely seem strong enough to hold her body upright, while the shawl wrapped around her th thin frame appears to f ready to fall apart at any moment. Grandma, is that really you? Her grandmother's eyes grow almost comically wide before blinking several times in, su in succession. What's wrong, you fool girl? Is your head lost in dreams? Dreams? Could this be a dream? But it feels surreal. But she's dead. Grandma's dead. I watched that god and shade kill her. So if this isn't a dream, how the hell is she here? Unless those sh shades killed me too. That must be it. I'm dead. I'm dead and this is... Oh, stop with that nonsense already! Kinda flinches as her grandmother raises a hand in the air, expecting pain to come as correction for her foolishness. But instead of a blow, her grandmother simply places her, her hand upon her granddaughter's cheek. The warmth of it instantly spreads from her cheek to her face before filling her entire body with a kind of, of beautiful light. What's wrong, girl? asks her grandmother. Are you upset? Do you want to go home? Kinda feels tears coming to her eyes and struggles to hold them back. Though she still has no idea what is happening, she knows one thing for certain. This is her grandmother. So sorry, Grandma. Not sure where my head was up there. Well, just make sure you keep it attached. Her grandmother chuckles as she pulls her hand away. Maybe this is a dream. Maybe I am already dead. I don't know. But either way, I'm not alone. As long as Grandma is with me, that's enough. Didn't I just tell you to stop spacing out, girl? The grandmother says with a cackle. Here yeah, now, hold this. She has kind of a large sack filled to bursting with all manners of fruit, manner of fruits and vegetables. Damn, Grandma, this is a lot. But well, it's important to treat yourself every now and again. Besides, these villagers may hate us, but the bastards are more than willing to take our money. We'll and support as we can, even if... We'll, yeah, we'll and support as we can. Even if they have to hold their noses while we do it. Her grandmother trails off as if trying to remember something, then slowly turns around. Well, what do you know? In all the excitement, I forgot to buy my medicine. A thin smile wavers uh, on her face for a moment before vanishing into a lifetime's worth of crevices and wrinkles, causing Kainu to take a concerned step forward. No, Grandma, that's fine. You go home and rest. I'll get the medicine. Her grandmother hesitates, clearly trying to weigh her own need for rest against her granddaughter's odd behavior of a moment before. Before she can start to argue, Kainu charges ahead. Ignoring the small voice in her head uh, that's telling her that what a bad idea all of this is. Like, so it is as if she remembers what just happened in the fucking digital whatever world. It's just weird. Uh, really, Grandma, it's fine. Go home. I got this. She pulls her grandmother's ancient wallet from her fingers, an act that requires a surprising amount of strength. Besides, you know how stubborn I am. Once my mind is set, there's no changing it. Hmm, wonder where you got that from. Seeing that further argument will be useless, her grandmother slowly turns and begins the long journey home. Kaine watches the figure recede from her vision, waiting for what seems uh, an eternity to ensure everything is alright. Once the frail shadow finally vanishes over the horizon, she turns on a heel and makes for the apothecary. Oh there, says the elderly apothecary. The carry as Kaine enters the store. Here for Kali's medicine, are you? The few villagers had even bother had ever bothered to learn her grandmother's name. She and the apothecary were old friends. Perhaps uh, that was the reason she had always showed her kindness, when so many others did not. Uh, yeah, if it's not a bother. The shopkeeper immediately sets about his work, deftly pulling his bottles and herbs from the shelves and mixing them with a practice hand. Soon, a peculiar smell begins to drift through the store, one that immediately reminds Kaina of her childhood. There you are, says the apothecary as he holds out a small cloth bag. Sorry for the wait. Oh, and uh, say, that's a fine portrait you drew of your grandmother. Looks just like her, so it does. Honestly, I've never seen Kali so over the moon about anything. She brags about it every time she stops by. You saw that? 
says Kaina, her eyes narrowing. Said portraits was something she had whipped up one day after getting her hands on some crayons, and to call it rough would be an act of purest generosity. The idea her grandmother was displaying it around town makes Kaina's stomach want to sink down to her feet before slinking off into a hole somewhere. You bet I saw it, the police apothecary says. She brought it all the way here just to show me. Aye, but it's been a long time since I've seen something so wonderful. Kaina's mind begins to whirl. The picture was shit. She was sure it was shit. And yet the man's reaction displayed the exact opposite opinion. Is he just being nice to me? The apothecary, as if sensing her skepticism, doubles down. I could really tell you put your heart into it. It was simply wonderful. Um, thanks, offers Kaine, who just wants the entire conversation to be over. She briefly considers how she's going to make her grandmother seize her little traveling art show, but then realizes that train has likely left the station. Uh, well, why do you use train as a metaphor? Do you know what a train and a train station is? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Shaking her head to banish her increasingly shrill thoughts, she grips the bag of medicine tightly and turns to leave. But just as she reaches the door, she hears a loud thud from somewhere back in the shop. Kinda turns around to see the apothecary crouching on the floor. Uh, hey there, you okay? While well, the man does not reply, Kinda moves towards him. Uh, she assumes he just slipped on something, or perhaps hit his head on one of the low-hanging shelves in the crowded shop. But the moment she draws close to him, she hears him begin to scream inside her mind. My leg! My leg! My leg! My leg! Oh God! Where is my leg? Panicked, Kinda looks down and discovers that the man's leg is gone. Help me! screams the voice in her head. Help me! As Kainan looks on in horror, the man's fingers begin to shimmer and vanish. He reaches out for her with the other hand, his other hand, only to find that it, too, is no longer there. Soon his arms go, then his legs. Then the side of his face warbles out of existence, causing a stray eyeball to roll out of its socket and onto the floor. Help! says the voice, uh, if it could even be called that anymore. I can! A moment later, what remains of a pitiful shopkeeper collapses into a heap of ash, releasing a small puff into the sunny sun there. Well then. Well, we, did we have the border just a second ago? As kind of stumbles back in horror, she hears a cacophony of terror rising up the side. Oh god, what's happening? My arms, where are my arms? Why can't I see? <laughs> kind of bursts out of the store and finds herself in a nightmare. Holmes slough off the sides of cliffs, taking out pieces of scaffolding as they fall. Screams echo everywhere, creating an opera fit for hell. Villagers run in mad circles before exploding into dust, the clothing drifting this way and that as it flows untethered through the air. As she stares at the scene, wide-eyed, a single thought suddenly inserts itself into the forefront of her mind. Grandma! Kinda breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stones to cross a world that is increasingly losing cohesion. As she continues her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face, her mouth, her eyes, ash, 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 buildings and people, all reduced to so many cinders in the wind. This reminds me of the ash that falls in the beginning in Tokyo. Yeah. The flakes. Mm. Soon she arrives at her childhood home. It was once a place filled with m precious memories, a place she regarded as an oasis in an increasingly mad world, but now it is, it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gapes unbelievably, uh, believingly at the sight, a faint sound uh, suddenly reaches her ears. Kai, nay. She's alive, Grandma's alive. With a speed born out of panic, she leaps onto the giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and burns her lungs. She continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small blackened form out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma, she whispers. We're getting out of here. Without waiting for a response, Kaina gather, gathers her grandmother in her arms and breaks into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the wave of ash has become a tsunami, and before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kaina stumbles and falls, sending her and her grandmother tumbling into the ashes. One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me, mutters Kaine, as she slings her grandmother over her shoulder and begins to crawl away. We're going to make it. We're going to live. 
As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter, as if trying to magically reduce the weight of her own burden. Uh, and as Kainer continues to struggle, she hears a small, soft voice enter her ear. Thank you, Kainer. Thank you. As the voice drifted away, the last pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on a soft breeze. Kainer screams, an impossibly sad and lonely sound, and begins trying to pull the ashes back to her. This can't be happening. It can't be happening. But the ashes are mingling with all the other detritus, oh, that's a word, from the collapsed village. And soon she can no longer tell which particles belong to who. Come on, come on! Come the fuck on already! As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a piece of soft, ragged fabric, her grandmother's shawl. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it and I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't save anyone. I couldn't even escape. I just felt the play peace in the place and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there was nothing, nothing here. No reason to live. No gold. No anything. So this is why I'm... Oh? Voice? Suddenly a new voice enters Kainas' world. I say, can you hear me? That sure does sound like voice. Yeah. After a moment, the voice calls out again, louder, clearer. Well, then. You wish to get him back, hmm? Him? replied Kaine. Who are you talking about? Oh, for the love of all the heavens, I always did know you were a handful. Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerves, <laughs> there is something else as well. A kind of warmth, almost a familiarity. Oh, truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? says the voice, which causes something deep in Kainas' memories to search forth. That's right, I had friends, and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realization, a blinding, radiant beam of light shoots out across the ash-covered world. Covering her eyes with one trembling hand, Kainas reaches for it. Oh boy. I see it. That is a lance. Yeah, it's a digital lance. Yeah. It's the boy. No. It's one boy. It's, it's one of the boys. Still not remember. Ooh, he's glitching out. You have not time to become lost in your thoughts. Right. Okay. Let's get him back. Don't go to that. He's glitching away. Mm. He really likes that piece he has in his head. Okay, now I'm kinda with Vice. Well, that actually, that's actually not doing that much. Shh. Attack and charge at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Or dark blast and attack. Yeah. It'll be like lock on. Let's fuck it up good. Oh no. Okay, I can't jump there. Thanks. Can I? What the? What? What? Oh, there he is. Is anybody in your cups again? Fuck your face. That's a good line. Yeah. Beat shit. There you go. Shut the fuck up, friend. Oh no, it's babies. I hate babies. Mm -hmm. They're actually not a... I'm saving it up a bit more. 
Or big lamps. Okay. Well, I just want the magic on hand when I need it. Oh, that's not great. What? Well, what if we do something like? Uh... Okay, no, <laughs> didn't really work out. Oh, oh boy. So do we just avoid this? Oh fuck. <laughs> There's quite a few bullets. Oh there. There is. Mm -hmm. Almost. Is this the sheep that killed Kainis grandma? Yeah. yeah, it was. Isn't it implied? It's supposed to be yes. Yes. Okay, good. Then I had understood it right. Oh, is she gonna do a finisher? Yes. Let's see yeah. it then. Minecraft hands. Minecraft fists. Oh god. It's like the same. Oh, she does the bruise. It's like the same. Yeah, yeah. But it's him that does, does it, not sure bruise. Sure is. <laughs> Get eat shit, Grandma. Or Hook. Yeah, yeah the shade is Oh god. Fashion. Ora, ora, ora. Mula, mula, mula. Oh, that's new. Ooh. That's one new. She's doing an Iron Man super. Exactly. Yeah. Sasuga. Hear that song? Oh. Bruce. Shut up, shut up. I already made up my mind. Oh. Nobody tells me what to do. I swore I would be a sword. I swore that I would be your sword. Do you hear me? So I am going to get you back. And I don't care what it takes. Who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that, huh? I'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me. It's my life, and I'll do whatever I want with it. So quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit and get your ass back here now! Yes, can I make up the swearing? They got yeah, the good emotional space. swearing, let's go. Yes. Bye, Hook. See you in hell, motherfucker. I will be maybe more word now. Digi digital hell. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they... <gasps> it's like with kindly but it's Bruce. Do you want to recover the person you cherish? We sure as fuck do. Yeah. You choose this option. Your current save data will be erased. This, ah, uh, deleted and ending D will be restored. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Are you really sure? Are you sure? <sighs> Let me go over to the PC. Yeah. You, you have to write in Bruce. Still. You correct then? Let's end it. A uh, bit of perspective, we're sitting on a couch a bit away from the PC that's connected to the TV. So I had to go over to the keyboard a couple of meters away. All safe us will be restored. Cheeky breaky. Oh, hey look! Yes, this heals my soul. This was not in the old game. Cheeky that I have basically, <laughs> basically had a back up. Yeah. Well, no, that means I still have uncompletable quests. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> Chapter select. You might be able to get one of those. Ooh. Getting all the, the things back. So missing words as well. This is the reverse of the bad feelings I got when we deleted the saves. Nice. Like, I'm getting no the good way. feelings. 
I wonder what happened if you wrote in the wrong name? Would it say wrong name or something? Probably, until you get it right. Yeah. If you don't get it right, it's like, where were you during the first playthrough? <laughs> yeah, are you stupid? But yes. Damn, they're really going into every, every, every single thing. Well, it was quite yeah, dramatic. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we got our tutorials back. We know how to play the game again. It was quite dramatic when we saw everything got deleted. Yes. Yeah, and this is nice. Hey, we even got that. Select the file to restore the list. Let's see if... Oh! Is it just the kind of file? Oh, wait, if it's just the kind of file... Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 dear, what the fuck? What the fuck? Excuse me. Excuse what? me, what? what the fuck is that? It's a big seed. Look at the scale. I know. Oh. That's quite nice. Huh. It's opening, what's inside of it? Is it the queen beast? Oh hi Emil! Fuck off if it's if it's the Queen Beast. It is in a fucking flower Oh my god! <laughs> I think it Our journey may have been meaningless. Okay, I did not expect to see him naked. May have been a mistake. <laughs> wow, the wow. pass was a mistake. That's rough, buddy. Look at the scale of that flower. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah. good tea flower. No, it's just a lunar tear. Well, the lunar tear is the Draken Guard three flower. Is it? Oh. That's really weird. That's that that kind of throws. Huh. Huh. I, I'm gonna have to like look at, and you're not allowed because it's it's gotta relate to Automata. Uh, but but I gotta have to listen to what people have to say about that uh, analyzing shit. What happens if you play yeah, now? I just... It's like, okay, she made him materialize a flower to get him back. Holy shit, what happened? I'm looking out for Kira Buckland, I think her name is, and Kyle McCarley. I want to see if they are... In here. Emmy Evans, good job. Love you. <laughs> but that's gonna be the last ending as far as I'm aware. I is that Does that make things better? I no. The world is still fucked. The world is still fucked, right? But at least they get to Go to the end together. Yeah. I mean, it's a little better. I think. The question is, where's Yoda? No, she's dead. No, I, I don't know if she's no, dead. She no, might she's be dead. Not. No, but in this timeline, we never went into the town to see and talk to Yoda. Wait, uh, uh, she she was there in the John. I gotta look. Okay, okay, gotta look. She was there, and it was honestly kind of gross to see the fucking same uh, diary entries only with the name name switch to John. I didn't like that at all. Yeah. But she still has a black scroll. Girl, she was okay. Mm. So if Kira Buckland was a girl. Kyle McCarley, boy. That was not who I expected them to be. That... Mmm. Ah, mmm. Ooh. That is very interesting to me. Who did you think it was going to be? Um, we might be able to talk about that after Automata. 
Okay. I was thinking of it, you know, with the black, black squall, squall. Maybe she got healed after she got basically... Maybe. Possessed and then exercised or something. But wait, is she... Is she three years older than when she was rescued and Bruce is reborn as a child? No, he was reborn as an adult because he had the hair. No, wait, he did not, he have, like a child. He did not have the hair. Actually. So he didn't. So Yona is eight years older than him. Yes, she, or, or like, or like five. No, but oh, that's five gonna be freaky years as time skip and also three years after. We've defeated the Shadow Lord, so eight. Why did she? Why did she kind of bring her back as such basically a child? I don't know if she had a choice. Hmm. But that happens in the. That was essentially the um, short story with some added stuff, like the thing with going back to the village. I think is new. The, there was never like a proper official translation, and the one we got was limited, the fan translation. But, oh boy, I'm also looking for Yui Ishikawa coming up here, mm. who would be the Japanese equivalent to Kira Buckland. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you said that if we complete all the endings, we have a, a weapon. Well, it might. I, I read that. Oh, you can get Kina Sword. Exactly what I was. I will say. I don't know if we'll be able to have Kina Sword with Bruce. Okay. Or if it's just like, oh, you're Kina, you have Kina Sword. Oh. Oh boy, but that was sure a thing. It was sure near. It was near. Hey, Yukotaro. Hey. And uh, guess yeah. what? Near eventually received. Yeah, girl. Nier eventually received a sequel called Nier Automata. It was uh, produced, uh, what do you say, it was developed by Platinum Games of Bayonetta fame. It was basically like a Nier game, but the, with actual good game. <laughs> and we will play that eventually, but I think we need a bit of a break. Yeah. And I honestly think that there might be... What does that say? It is a bunch e of... A... B... A parting greeting has been parting added greeting. to... Visit that woman's house to acquire a new weapon. That might be the sword. Yeah. Oh! oh! It's a meal. I do. Stuff. Like okay, options. wait. Options. Options. Uh... Parting greeting. Sure. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Is everybody here? Oh, shut the fuck up. Sure. All right, then. <clears throat> Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Thank you for playing. <laughs> uh, Yona, why aren't you in bed? Oh, hey. It's my big, big brother. I'm so sorry. To, I just to what? didn't want to miss this. Try and take it easy on her, okay? Oh, God, it's all the characters. Everyone's here. Even the dead ones. Especially the dead ones. You're here too? So close. Okay, who was that? Shut up, Tyrion. You'll just make things complicated. We haven't all the time in the world, hmm? Is Nora gonna show up? Is fucking. Who else is even in this game? Is Red Bagman gonna show up? No. We have to say goodbye eventually. But hey, I'm sure we'll meet again. No. You really think so? No. I'm getting hungry over here. Wanna hurry this up? That's moot. All right. Once again, from the top. But the adult and the boy are both there. And we have a special message for you. Well, this is a goofy side thing. One. Oh my God! This is a goofy side. Uh, that was. <laughs> Did you write it? <laughs> that wasn't yes, goofy. No, 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 no. I, I fuck. <laughs> okay, I accidentally pressed it again. I I know that mean. Yeah, did you write it? Yeah, Kojima Uh So, I just wanna start up 
the brute save real quick. See where the fuck we're at. Lost Shrine Roof. So this is... Go to that house. You're not Head to the house. Shadow Lord's castle, it says. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that the sword over at Kaina's house is Kaina's sword. Yeah. But... These guys are still waiting to fight the Shadow Lord. I guess they're like trapped in an endless cycle of yeah. life and death. Can't we go back? There are... We can't go back, but... I don't... I don't entirely know how to interpret that last ending. I'm gonna have to think about that. Yeah. But we, I'm, we're going to play Automata. We need to play Automata because as much as I like this game, I like this game more than the original version of this game because they had more time to get the stuff they wanted in and that special ending is pretty neat. Uh, but Automata is just straight up a better game, I think. Uh, it it does just about everything better than this game, and I look forward to playing that. But as I said, we might need a little bit of a break, and honestly, having this game not super fresh in memory might actually be a good thing when going into Armada. But uh, that makes this the final episode. Uh, if you have watched this far, thank you very much. And uh, thank you guys for coming along on this little journey. Yeah, no problem. Uh, it was fun. Even though my brain feels a little bit smoother, but... <laughs> yeah. Took a grindstone to the brain. That's how we like it. Mm -hmm. uh, so look forward to Automata in the uh, non-distinct future. And see you. I mean, just souping around. Yeah. See you. See you, Emil. See you, Bruce, Kaina, the whole crew. You're going to die of old age, you're incapable of reproducing, and, and still ev wondering everyone's gonna die. And uh, Emil, how the hell did you get extra arms? That's still a good question. Does he have extra arms now? No, no yeah, he no. doesn't. This is before that. Yeah. Keep up. <laughs> hey. Well, we go. It's time to end this. Thanks for watching. See you in whatever comes next. Okay.